Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add Polymer to an already existing site and maybe one that's not using Bower. We're going to take a different approach where we actually download the library and get it set up as if we were just using a project that already had its own library manager, or maybe you're just not using that and you wanted to get something going quickly and you weren't planning on using Bower. So let's get started by quickly and easily adding Polymer to your existing website. Here I have a new project that is basically just downloaded from HTML5 boilerplate and I have a whole lot of code here which is just real basic HTML and stuff. But let's say this is a project we're already using, maybe it's a new project, whatever, but we don't want to add uh, Bower to this project because it's not something that we plan on using in this code base. So let's talk about how we can download and install Polymer. So we want to head to the polymerproject.org. This is polymer-project.org. And now we can come to get started. And from here, we can download the zip file. And if you scroll down here, you can see that you can install it from this zip file. So let's go ahead and grab that now. Just by selecting this, it'll take you to the link where we can download the zip. Now it's going to just give us a zip with the Polymer project that we need in here. And what that gives you is this components folder. So let's come to my without Bower project and I can just throw this components into our project here. And you'll see that inside of this components folder, we have a Bower components. And if you'd like, we can go ahead and just throw this into our project like so. Uh, get rid of this components file folder itself. And if you're not using Bower at all, you can go ahead and simply just remove Polymer and Web Components from this folder here, and we can get rid of that. Of course, if you're gonna be following these tutorials, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your paths are correct when we're referencing the files that we go to reference later on. And also, if you plan on potentially using Bower later, you can always leave these in that Bower uh, components folder, and then when you start to use Bower, uh, the Bower package manager will just go ahead and use that folder and add things to it. So you don't have to remove them from that, and you can keep them pretty much wherever you'd like, as long as when you are using them in your project, you're referencing those paths correctly. Okay, so if you don't want to use Bower, you can just straight up download the zips and all we need is this Polymer folder and the Web Components folder and that's going to contain everything that we need to get running with Polymer. In the next video, we're gonna start uh, throwing Polymer onto our project and using an element for the first time uh, using this new Polymer 1.0 release. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.